What up YouTube, TK here, and today we're building a box fort. Let's go. Woo! All right, TK here reporting from the construction site and there's simply no activity going on. We're gonna go and check on the foreman in the side office and get some answers. Hey, why is nothing happening? Why is nothing happening? Mate, it's Smoko. What? Get to work! Get your vest! You're not allowed to sort of that vest. Oh, get it off the site! We got you off to the me. site! Off uh, the fix. site! Okay, so the basic plan is to build a big box fort, as big as we can get it, in my backyard today. I want a big living space, maybe a private study, anything more than that is a bonus. We're just gonna get stuck in and start building this thing and hopefully it's awesome. We're going for a solid box construction. We're gonna go for three walls in the living area, see how cozy we can make it. Got a few blankets, it's gonna be good. is I spent the big bucks. I got myself a whisk uh, blade for this job today. I'm really excited because I like good tools. And of course, it's a knife, right? It's to cut things. And they've put a knife, you know, I need to cut things. They put the knife in a box that you need a knife to open. Chicken <laughs> and the egg. <laughs> garbage, absolute garbage. I am, I am just, look, look at this fantastic pile of glorious boxes. And now, it must become a fort. So we've got our materials here, starting to construct out in the backyard. At Aislinn's recommendation, we are staggering our box bricks for the best possible results. We've got Rye working on some structural reinforcements. How are we doing, Rye? Not great. Not great, not great. It is windy as hell, people. You guys would be terrible firefighters, but, but this is good. Firefighters. They, they did this with buckets of water back in the day. What? <laughs> well, you don't throw them. You hand you hand them to each other. Do you, do you not approve? Hey, you seen you seen Liam? Oh, oh, working hard, are we boys? Oh, or hardly hard. working? Get to work. Uh, Move it. I'm not oh get you get work. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, You'll get your workers comp, mate. Work. You'll get your bloody workers comp. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're struggling. I thought about it. It's the main thing. What we need is more tape because we're not all this flexible. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, that one's shit. Yeah, that one's trash. How's the tape, Tran? <laughs> yep, fair enough. All right, so I'm down at the job site with the foreman who is really complicating matters more than actually helping. <laughs> uh, here is our, our main atrium. This is the main hangout space in the house. Room for about four to five people comfortably. About 15 if you're really, really friendly. We come through the tunnel, which goes through to uh, the end of the hallway. We have a nice little art display space we're working on. Uh, coming through here, this was originally gonna be the master bedroom with really only room for one. We've now actually moved that into this center area, uh, which we're developing, it's much bigger. So this space is, uh, I guess it's gonna be like, we're gonna go 90s, it's gonna be like the computer room, or God knows what we're gonna put there. Maybe I'll throw on my Apple too. See what happens. Uh, we're gonna keep building. Cordell's working hard for that money. Our walls are coming together, we're having problems with wind, but overall, I think we're doing pretty well. Did you find a pallet, or are you just... Look, I think, I'm not sure if we can, we can score a pallet today, so we're just gonna, we're gonna work with what we have. We're building the walls up, then time for roof and flooring after that. No, hit me. Oh! <laughs> I did ask. All right, so I'm just chilling here in the main zone, which has come together well. 
we're starting to have some thoughts about how we're going to do floor and roof. Thinking maybe sheets for that Moroccan flare, maybe a peak setup like our last work. Gonna keep thinking about it, um, but it's all come together pretty well. We actually did get probably enough boxes, which I am very, very pleased about. So We're gonna keep going. There's a lot. Maybe not enough boxes. And there's one. More, though. And there's one more. All right, we are at a last minute pickup of some stuff, and Tran is walking way too slowly. Why? Why do we gotta walk? Because I want to get the pizza. All right, we've made a last minute dash for extra parts. What? I said we made a last minute dash for extra parts. It is time to get back there. I'm hoping the pizza hasn't showed up yet because I'm hungry as hell. We got roof, we got floor, we got a welcome mat. We got a welcome mat. It is lunchtime. Which one is the tomato? So we're at the stage now where things are basically, they're coming together pretty well. Most of our walls are in place. We've got to think about flooring and the roof. So we were going to go with a cardboard peaked roof, but I'm not sure we've got quite the material for it. So we are actually going to look at, we're going to build basically a tent style roof peaked with some plastic materials. And then for flooring, we're going to go with cardboard and you can tell I'm exhausted. Um, we have run around all morning, just had lunch. So I'm going to sit down for another two minutes and then we're going to get right back into it. And so, you didn't even say it. You said plastic material because you wanted it to sound fancy. Basically, we're going to use garbage bags. <laughs> I'm just sad because I didn't get to make my joke. Yeah. Well, you're a garbage person. I am a garbage person. He's a, he's a garbage person. So, we can't throw away the garbage boxes because they are valuable flooring materials. Cordell has requested greasy side down, but I think I'm just going to leave them where they are. So, we're going to use these for the roof in this area. It's going to be quite low. We might want to put another box there. These uh, cardboard L sections are just really, really tough and they're going to help hold our roof up. It's going to be fantastic. We've got another one here as well. Yep, fantastic. This is going to do nicely. Uh, kick it out a little bit more. Fantastic, we get those taped in place. It's all happening. So the biggest consumable at the moment is tape. We got Ryan Cordell taping in our rafters or buttresses? Rafters. Rafters, definitely rafters. Uh, we've got a round, a round rafter here, which is not really the best, but it'll do the job. We might actually get another one of those. Liam is beginning to work. If we come on through, he is beginning to work on flooring. We're going with a cardboard floor, a few gaps, but if we keep layering up, I think we're going to be good. This is, guys, this is fantastic. I cannot believe how good this is starting to look. So we're going to use some of this cardboard for the roof. We want to use these big boxes. Now, if we just lay them flat, they're going to sag, they're going to flop, it's going to look bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring these sides up like this to make a C beam. That's going to improve the moment of inertia, which is going to stop the beam collapsing in the middle. Give us a nice strong roof, keep us dry. That's what we're going to do. Yep. Look at that, that is one average ripping gun. So we're working on these C channels for the roofing and we're having to extend them. We've got the two pieces nested inside each other and then an extra box for more, uh, more strength. Rice just building out the walls to support them. And hopefully these C channels are gonna make a nice basis for our roof. I am psyched because this is really the most engineering in the whole project. In there, Mike. Pretty good, just uh, flooring is up for the the grass so no one has to get the wet house. Flooring is actually looking really good. So obviously we only have a limited number of these cardboard rolls and those L sections. We needed something more for the roof. We're managing just barely to make these C beams work and that's that's given us some much needed structure. I don't think we're gonna be able to do the whole roof in cardboard but we're at least gonna be able to do some of it. God I hope this holds up. I don't think it's gonna be So we kind of gave up if Liam steps back in a moment you can see we've the C channel's not bad, but it really can't quite span the whole thing, so we've, we've decided to use a column. Which breaks up the room a bit, but it makes the roof about 10 times stronger. So we're happy. Alright, we're just building the front section of the roof now. Cordell's putting a box on top for extra strength. Right, can I get some help over here, mate? Yep. <laughs> Guys, we have, we have high ceilings. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, back we come. Sorry, I'm making a video. Yeah. 
The roof is looking fan bloody tastic. I am loving this roof. Sea channels for life, people. I hope you just caught me on film, putting on a completely useless piece of tape. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> All right, so it's 3 p.m. We've been at this for about four hours now. Things are going well. We got the walls up, floors are in, sea channel roof is coming together. Uh, Tran is literally having to climb in the garbage bags to cut them open. That's going to be our roof. Um, but overall, things are coming together. And uh, of course, as well, the foreman is once again slacking off. We've been working really hard and the garbage bag roof is, like it looks like trash, but it's also kind of like really moody and awesome. Um, yeah, it needs a little more work, but it just, the atmosphere in here is, is quite special. I love it. Aislinn is struggling with tape, we have some uh, unwelcome visitors, but uh, look, we, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. The problem with the box fort is before you finish it, you already want to start chilling in it. I got my feet up. So they've nabbed the tripod off me, and this is just amazing. Tape him. So what, like this, this blows my mind. So Rai attaches it, holds it up, Cordell goes in with the tripod, I cannot blow it! That is the coolest thing I've seen in years. That's just amazing. Putting in the final section of roof, we've got a little dust guard, like a real temple. It's all coming together. Guys have actually saved the roof. You can see what they've done. Now, when we talk about moment of inertia, we talk about I equals BH cubed over 12. You see the height of this beam they folded up out of cardboard is quite high, it's quite narrow. That gives it excellent rigidity in the sort of vertical axis, and I know I'm mincing my words here, but that is holding our roof up so much better now. That was almost collapsing. All right, what up YouTube? TK here, and yes, we finished the fort, it's raining. Let's go take a look inside. So we come in first to our hangout pad. We got the team hanging out, chilling out. And if you come in a little further, you can see we've, we've set it up pretty nice. A couple of bean bags, blankets, the typical things. Naturally, of course, we have, you know, the mini fridge. What if your box fort doesn't have one? What the hell are you doing? So we keep coming through. We crawl down the tunnel, and I'm going to do this backwards because I love the look of my own face. And it gets pretty dark in here. Now, just behind me is our art area where today we have a bit of rose bush I stole from the front yard and just stuffed in a pot. I think it really, really brightens the place up. So, we keep coming around, we have the study space. We have Cordell here. What are you reading today, buddy? Fantastic book, fantastic book. So if we keep coming through into our final room, we see Michael and he's having a great time. And basically this is what we call the nature room because the roof kind of reminds you that yes, you are definitely outside. So this is just a nice place to relax, chill out, you know, play a bit of guitar. Fundamentally, it's just a warm, loving environment and I can't believe we built this in like five hours. Actually, I can because I'm exhausted, but just fantastic. I'm going to kick back with a beer. I think we all are. Till next time, TK out.